I'm Flo Gazzaro, a director of Flo Gazzaro House Museum. It is a museum project where I'm also living and working at the same time. And it is a site-specific project that is dealing with the topic of home, domesticity, institutionalization, uh, being a house owner, mother, freelance artist at the same time. Actually, it is this typical, you know, house museum type of museums which are dedicated to the people who usually they are dead and then their relatives do the museum for them. But I don't know, I just didn't want to keep it all my own. So somehow organically this idea to make it public and to make it into a Flo Casaro House Museum came. I don't have one main uh, topic or field that I work in. Yeah, I'm working quite spontaneously and also organically how the life uh, somehow leads me. That I'm not this kind of person yeah, who goes to studio and then I start make something out of zero or start, start working on something. I think I'm more working with ideas before a lot. Like we will change the roof and I knew that uh, I want to do some artwork out of that roof before we change it. So then it was like a mathematical uh, puzzle that I have the material and I know I want to do something so I was just constantly brainstorming what can I do out of that thing. There was these things that the Russian military airplanes were visiting Estonian air zone illegally and online news a lot create fear, you know, just make this very big, oh they are again in our air zone, you know, what they do if they are, you know, new war coming or something like that. So, and then I thought that also I can, yeah, create these planes like uh, children do from the paper from my roof. So in this case, the idea came from the actual thing that was happening uh, in above Estonian air zone. And the media was uh, reflecting this thing bigger and more fearful, I think, than it was. I like to be, in this case, uh, connected with things that happen politically and socially in the world. So this is also like uh, grow out from part of my fear. So I live in a wooden house, it can get into fire, what happens? I call the fire department and you know how the t time changes then, then that one second feels like one minute, one minute feels like one hour, so also they are coming very, very slow. And at the same year also happened that uh, Estonian uh, government, they closed down around 10 smaller uh, fire departments in smaller villages. So I'm always somehow connecting real connection with the real life, what's happening socially or politically. Only exception is this house museum project. I'm always a bit working on that besides other projects. And this is collection of artefacts of Flo Casero House Museum. Everything is labeled. Flo's table, Flo's chair, Flo's cupboard. Things that have uh, survived from their lifetime. Also the collection is very special because it is growing. I get time to time new things. Yeah, sometimes it's a problem that I don't have this studio where I work. So if I work in my living room and very often, you know, normal life crashes in somehow that I have to do some other things for the house or somebody comes uh, to visit or that I don't have the space only for me where I can work. Sometimes I would also like to, you know, have a distance from my work. I would like to walk to the studio and then do something there and have a distance between the life and the art. But this is the compromise that I had to make to be able to be artist then to work home and, and not to do some other job to earn money maybe for, you know, living. Many like this site-specific thing, but there have also been some very critical comments saying that you should stop it, start a new period, you know, it's old, it's done, you know, do something new. But at the same time, right now, I still have uh, some ideas what to do connected with the house, if already this is my playground, why not to use it maximum? I have used the roof, I have used, you know, the garden and stuff. Why not to use maximum the facade and everything? And if everything is used, it doesn't fit any more art, then, you know, it's done. I will get this new white studio period or something like that. So these are my choices. <laughs> In Flo Gasser House Museum, you can also see Mona Lisa painting. 
uh, from a distance, but if you want to see it more closely, you have to wait until these people come out, because as you see, it is the most uh, popular work, as there are so many people already inside waiting. I would maybe just advise this young artist to use his or her own uh, life material, not to start being artificially and copying something or some idea or something, but actually around you, I think there's enough material to work with.